Good evening. A day after the Alberta Health Services announced a measles outbreak in the province, the Prairie North Health Region says they're investigating more cases here in the border city. Now, last week they announced an unimmunized child under the age of five was infected. Today, they say they may have three more cases in children under the age of 16. Now, PNHR says people may have been exposed at these places and at these dates and times. They are St. Wahlberg School on April 17th, the St. Wahlberg Roman Catholic Church of Assumption on Easter Sunday, and on April 23rd at the Tim Hortons on Highway 17 South, the Superstore and Giant Tiger. Now, anyone who may have been at these locations are being told to watch out for symptoms. Those include high fever, a cough and runny nose, followed by a rash that spreads throughout the body. Now, measles is a highly infectious and potentially serious disease that is easily transmitted through the air. Anyone who may have been exposed is asked to call their doctor. Meanwhile, the Prairie North Health Region was at the hospital today for their monthly meeting. Anne Kondotvay was there and spoke with the PNHR, PNHR CEO about the recent developments and has more. Prairie North Health Region is taking steps to deal with the outbreak. CEO David Fan says if you have children that are unimmunized, to take them into the clinic right away. Parents and families to, uh, to uh, get the children immunized and um, because that's in you know, the long term, that's likely the only way that will provide uh, protection for everyone. He says this is a unique case for our region and they will be setting up vaccination clinics as soon as possible. He says if you're also developing any symptoms, to visit your primary health care provider. And for more information, you can call the helpline at 811. Reporting from the Lloydminster Hospital, Anna Kanothate, Newcap News. Well, two Cold Lake teens are in custody after a brazen armed robbery yesterday afternoon. Now, the two suspects allegedly held up a Cold Lake grocery store using a pellet gun that resembled a real gun. Now, Fraser Snowden has more. It happened just before 2 o'clock in the afternoon at Shop Easy Foods in the Marina Mall. Although the employee of a liquor store beside them didn't see it, the cashier who was allegedly robbed told him what happened. She couldn't get into the cash register and then he's like get over to the other till and open that one she went over to the other one couldn't get that one probably again that she was in shock and didn't know what was going on the cashier was not harmed in the incident police say the suspect took off with some merchandise but no cash was robbed at, uh, by a male producing a gun um, this male entered the store and uh, he was masked and he got away with about five packages of cigarettes. The cashier, another employee, and a customer were in the store at the time of the incident. The cashier's friends who were on their way to the grocery store just missed the robbery, but they say they are shocked at what happened. Uh, it's really scary. I was just about to come and visit her, and then I heard this happened, and I'm really shaken up. Higdon says it's a little unnerving to have this type of thing happen right beside you. There's not really a lot of crime that goes on down here and it, it's a total shock to, to realize that it's happened so close to you, you know. Police arrested two youths just after 4 p.m. and they are now in police custody. In Cold Lake, Fraser Snowden, New Cap News. Well, police have laid charges against the two suspects. One male has been charged with robbery and disguised with intent. The other male has been charged with robbery, disguised with intent, and pointing a firearm. Now, he's also facing a second disguised with intent charge as a result of an attempted theft at a storage facility this past Sunday. Now, they cannot be named because they are under 18. Well, good news for multiple sclerosis patients across the province. Starting tomorrow, Saskatchewan residents dealing with MS will have access to a new oral medication. Kyle Galver has more. MS patients living in Saskatchewan now have another option in their fight against the disease. Starting May 1st, the province will cover the drug Tecfidera to treat adult patients with relapsing remitting MS. Two phase three clinical trials have um, shown that this drug, Tecfidera, um, has uh, reduced relapse rates by as much as 53% um, and also has helped slow the progression of the disease by over 30%. So those are a couple of key statistics that um, make people excited about this. The drug isn't cheap and this new coverage will help lessen the financial burden for those who choose this type of treatment. Something that is uh, affordable for people because um, the cost of this drug has actually been um, 
tagged at around $23,000 annually. So uh, a hefty expense to say the least. Saskatchewan has a higher per capita rate of MS than anywhere else in Canada. About 3,700 people are affected province-wide. It's uh, definitely a factor in why we uh, took the lead on negotiating this product and uh, uh, why we did want to uh, move to try and uh, make this available as soon as possible. Right now, the coverage is only available to residents living in Saskatchewan, and there is no exception for border towns like Lloydminster. We certainly are hoping that Alberta will follow in tow, um, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, right now, Saskatchewan is um, the only other province aside from Quebec that is covering uh, Tecfidera. Patients who are interested should get in contact with their doctors. The physician must determine what agent is best for their uh, situation and then would make an application for it to be covered under the uh, Saskatchewan MS Drugs Program. Kyle Gallagher, New Cap News. Well, you may have noticed and smelled smoke this morning, just west of our city. Fire officials say there's no need to worry as it was a controlled burn. The Vermilion River Fire Department says it happened on, a pri on private property. Now, the individual who had a permit was burning damp flax straw when high winds contributed to the smoke. When you're doing a permitted burn within the county, first of all, you have to respect your neighbors, so you have to ensure that the wind direction doesn't impact the surrounding, your surrounding neighbors. And in this case, it was the city of Lloydminster. County Fire Chief Orst Popple says the season is becoming very dry, despite all the moisture we've seen over the past week. Yesterday we had three running fires, all created by human carelessness. High winds is, is a factor, uh, you know, we should use caution when we're burning anything, even if it's small little incinerator fires. Now, the county of Vermilion River has issued a partial fire ban late this afternoon. Now, only recreational and incinerator fires are permitted.